Alright, uh, hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna do a quick run through of my snorri cam that I built. Um, majority of it were all free parts. If there wasn't a free part, then it was really, really freaking cheap. Um, what I started out with was a nice sturdy backpack. One that has a, you know, like a plastic insert in the back of it for extra support. Um, I like it to have uh, the strap that would go across the chest. Gives you just an extra buckle to work with. Um, I got these from an Ace Hardware store. Pretty much just uh, nylon straps. They sell them by the foot there usually. It's pretty cheap. Uh, they have the buckles there too. They should be right next to them. They're just a couple of cents. Um, what I did with the uh, with the bag here, I sewed on a, another flap of the bag that I could cut off. I have uh, I actually got a metal plate uh, cut for me for this. I have an uncle that works with people that cut steel, so I just uh, gave them the template that I needed. They cut it out for me. I mean, you can do it with wood, whatever, but I mean, I had the option for metal, so I went with it. Uh, what I did is I just had them drill specific holes on the other side. I measured it up because I have a satellite dish arm that I got from a friend who was just hanging off the side of his house. He never used it, so I just I told him I'd go over there, take it off his house for him. I got it, so I measured up the holes to align with the... Uh, Plate on the other side, screwed that together. Um, usually, whenever you'd have the satellite dish, this would be turned like that, and then the arm would actually bend up straight up and down to tilt the uh, tilt the satellite dish. What I did was I I flipped it 90 degrees and I drilled a hole through this so I could screw it back on there. And what that lets me do is put nuts on it like that. There's two tight points on both sides that you can tighten it down with. But what that allows me to do is during the shot I could turn it more like that. Turn all the way to the left or right, whichever you want. You get it straight on. You know, pretty much whatever you need. Give you that over the shoulder third person shooter look. That's what I was going for when I was doing this build, so I want sort of a video game look, so I can use my guns, you know, shoot whatever. Um, on the satellite dish arm, you don't actually need the satellite dish itself. You just need the arm, the bracket, and there's a, I don't know, a coupler or a, I don't know, whatever you'd call it, that would attach to the dish. Whereas I, what I did is I cut it down. I just use a saw. It takes a while, but it's definitely worth it. I got some hose clamps that I got. They're pretty cheap too, just for whatever use. Um, this was actually my old tripod neck, whatever you want to call it. I tore it apart. I used uh, the legs for another uh, another project that I had. I just hose clamped that onto that piece. And what that allows me to do is it gives me, you know, a nice connection point for my camera. I got the pan and tilt of the head still everything's intact and I still have the uh, I still have that part where if I get it off there where you can still raise and lower the neck so you can get another you get another two feet of distance on this thing so you get it way out there or way up close um, I cut the bag or I cut the backpack on the neck pretty low so it can go on the front or the back of your uh, your actor. So either you want like a behind the back third person shooter look, or you know from the front, whatever you want like that. Like it's running through somewhere, it gives you a very good uh, dramatic look to your shot. Um, what I did to cover it up is I got one of these Dickies work shirts. I sell them for like five bucks at Walmart, and in the back of it about. You know, where this would match up on your back, I cut about a five or six inch slit. That fits over the head of the tripod, goes down, button it up in the front, and you can't even notice it really because it's just a low profile backpack. There's no real hard edges on it, and uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you got any questions, ask me. I'll get back to them. And uh, yeah, that's my, uh, my snore cam rig. Thanks for watching.